pretty good. What, what, um, you know, what you need extra time? Yeah. Um, just talking to coach about it. Um, we just felt like I needed probably a couple more weeks, really, to feel more comfortable. Um, and so I mean, we thought about just doing like you know the inactive route, just being inactive on game day and doing it that way. But um, we kind of just came up with a solution that like four weeks would probably be the best spot for me, even if it felt like it was a one week too long. You know, that's not the end of the world. Um, just to kind of give myself just that comfortability um, and kind of just being comfortable to be able to go back out there. So um, I'm excited to be back out there now for sure. It, it yeah. was almost a year to the day, right? Almost, yeah, yeah. yeah. October third, yep. October Yep. Uh, difficult, um, difficult for sure. Uh, just kind of going through the process. Um, I mean, it, it, it was tough, but I feel like where I'm at now, um, I did all the right things. I mean, we got a lot of great people here that helped me, obviously along the way. Um, and so I'm just excited to be back out. Do you anticipate being activated this week? Um, I don't know. We're kind of going off this week of practice, um, kind of as a determining factor. Because um, kind of like I said, I felt like I was really probably ready like last week right. um but we kind of just had that extra week just to be 100 percent um but yeah kind of go, going off this week's practice um the game plan and things like that are there um, any thresholds yeah. you think you need to hit or is it just to feel it's just a feel yeah. yeah i've hit every all the marks all the things i mean the numbers look great yeah. all of that so that's yeah i'm cool with all that it's You're just the feel there. of getting back to football i mean you take three weeks four weeks sure. off of football you kind of got to play football again um, but then once I get that feeling back, I'm, I'm good to go. What makes you feel that you're almost 100%? Like, what is it about it? Um, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just kind of, you kind of just know when you're out there on the field, um, you're moving around. You know, I can tell if I'm moving around how I normally would or not. Um, and I feel like I am now. I know yeah. that now that you're off the IR, it starts the 21-day clock. It's right. active you at any time. You've waited a long time. It's been a year to yeah. get this close. So yeah. what is this period like? Um, yeah, I mean, you kind of get anxious. I mean, you just want to go. You want to go. You want to go. But um, you gotta also got to understand that, you know, there's still a lot of games left. Um, and I want to be able to be there at the end, you know, still healthy, still rolling um, while, we're, while we're fighting for playoff spots and things like that. So I don't want to come back too early even if it's about two, three days, whatever, you know what I mean? Just to make sure that I'm there for the whole season. Um, and I understand that. Um, but yeah, no, it's difficult kind of waiting still, yeah. So you guys are going to fight for playoff spots? Oh, for sure. It's a super fun experience. Super fun to be around guys like our O-line and, you know, the backs. Everybody just pitching in to, uh, for one common goal, and that's a dub. What does it mean to you to kind of, like, think back to where you were, I don't know, like even training camp last year and to, to kind of where you are right now? It's just crazy, um, but the difference between last year and this year is just preparation. Um, after last offseason, I just mentally prepared myself and physically prepared myself to be in this position. So um, I didn't, I didn't think that it was, it would be un out of the ordinary to be in this position. I just didn't know if I was going to get the opportunity. When it came, I was ready. How much pride do you guys take in their physicality on offense? A lot of pride. That's really how we go about doing things. Physicality first, speed off the ball, like Coach Led says, and that's really what we lead to it every game. When you're coming off a game where you rush for 200 yards, Tampa Bay is now, you know, the board's out. Um, does that make it more of a challenge for you, or how do you, how do you approach that? Um, I feel like every game is challenging, but if we do what we're supposed to do, then no opponent, opponent that we face will really give us problems. We just got to go out there and execute. And do what we know to do. Uh, shouldn't change what we do. We're going to run the ball regardless. What can you say about those guys up front? Obviously, it alleviates the running game and opens it up a little bit. What yeah. have they done? Um, they're just some dogs. They come to work every day and, you know, just go balls to the wall every time, um, clearing things up, making reads easier. I just pride those guys a lot. Hey, uh, where's you all? Where's the preparation at? As I get ready to play Tampa Bay for first place in the NFC South. Uh, just excited to get ready to go to challenge. Uh, they're obviously a great team, great front, and uh, have been one of the best defenses the past couple of years. So we're really excited uh, for the opportunity to play them. And we know they present a lot of challenges, but it's going to be a lot of fun. The coach said in the second game against them last year, he started to see some progress up front. Um, do you recall that, or, or um, do y'all feel that like y'all been making progress against these guys? Uh, you know, they have the fronts they presented, and you know, we were able to have more success the second game, but uh, but we still didn't win. So uh, we just got to, you know, really focus this week, uh, keep preparing, and keep keep getting ready to go for Sunday. I saw a stat uh, earlier in the week that. 
against the Browns, if you look at Caleb and Tyler's runs, over like 85, almost 90 yards came off the right side. Mm -hmm. I mean, to hear that, what does that kind of mean to you and Caleb about what you're doing on the right side of the field? Uh, it's, it's just amazing the success we've been able to have as a team. Um, and I know it sounds like a broken record, but it, do, it takes all 11 to run the football. The receivers, the way they're finishing downfield, the tight ends and what Parker and those guys are being able to do is really special. And um, just the physical and mindset that we're just trying to bring every single day is, uh, is, is just what we're trying to do. And that starts in practice, just bringing the work ethic every day, working through all of our uh, practice reps. You talk about physicality, and that's a word that comes up with Arthur Smith a whole lot. I mean, how much does he kind of preach that to you guys about this being y'all's identity? I, I think he nailed it right there. It's just he set that standard of what we're going to be and what we're going to be as a team and the identity that brings. And you don't uh, change that week to week. You know, you don't get a pep talk. It's like the way you come to work at practice. And um, it started, you know, last year. And, you know, we've been building it and growing it and look forward to continuing to do that. I asked Arthur and his presser earlier, I was like, what do you believe? I mean, because the run production in and of itself is night and day from where it was last year. I mean, that's just a fact. But I was like, what do you kind of attribute the catalyst of that change to? And I'll present you the same question. I mean, when you look at the run production, what is kind of the catalyst of change for you guys? Uh, I just think there's understanding and everything of what the we're being asked from the coaching staff. Um, there's full understanding of it as a front, really as an offense, and then uh, there's belief in what we're doing. So there's understanding and belief in what we're trying to go out and do. And, you know, we're so fortunate enough to have so many great skill guys in Marcus and all, really, the, all the position groups to be able, those guys create so many opportunities for us and make it easy for us. But we just got to go out and uh, be a Simon Sound and allow those guys to make those plays. What is it about the offensive line this year where things are really clicking week in and week out? Uh, we just have a lot of reps built with each other. So we have, you know, hundreds or thousands of reps and combinations, and we go out and work them every single day. And uh, something that Alex Mack told me when I was a rookie is that offensive line play is really boring, and it's like really getting consistency and getting, uh, you know, getting comfortable with the daily uh, small tasks and just really trying to focus on that, continue to grind on it, and not overlooking anything. Do you feel like that's something that you guys as a unit have cohesively kind of figured out to go through the mundane, as Coach Smith likes to call it? Yeah, and I think there's excitement in it, too. Um, we just, the, we're so lucky to have a great group of guys in terms of the, the, the mindset that we go out to practice with, to go out and to attack it, and it's not just another Wednesday, it's an important Wednesday. Um, and the details of meetings, and we understand you know, what those emphases are and then go out and uh, really you know, apply those into practice on a Wednesday. I know every week is a challenge, every week is tough, but this defensive front obviously has been one of the best in the NFL over the last couple of years. How much do you feel like that will be a measuring stick for you guys? Uh, I, I don't look at it that way. Um, they're just they're a really good front, and we need to do whatever it takes to win. So if it's 60 dropbacks or if it's running the ball, like th th our job is to do what's asked of us and to you know, do it to our best of our ability. and. Uh, with that mindset, we're just going out and, you know, trying to attack it.